Hey Facebook, thanks for coming back. Um, so here's what I'd like to call this, inflammation to cancer, a scar tissue issue. But the reality is, it starts off like this. Issues create what? So, uh, sorry, issues, if they can't get processed, get locked where? In your tissues. If it stays there long enough, and you repeat a dysfunctional belief strong enough, it becomes a tumor. That's every cancer. And every cancer is the same. If you take the C in cancer off the word cancer, you'll have the answer. The C stands for what? Well, let's cause conflict. That would be the media and the government. That will create contamination in your brain, your mind. And that will corrupt your cells. Conflict, contamination, corruption. There are good people that work in the government, but these good people don't know that they're being had just like you. There are really good people that work in the medical system, especially the nurses. But they don't know that they've been schooled, ruled, and fooled. Who in the heck would believe that health care was actually drug care? Who in the heck would believe that health care was surgery? Who in the heck would believe that you have to lose pieces of yourself to become whole? Isn't it amazing that we live in a nation that doesn't think anymore? And you know what? You can maybe, but most people out there, they can't handle the truth. Can you handle the truth? Can you handle the truth? No, I doubt it. I doubt it. Because to handle the truth would mean that you would have to realize that the whole foundation and all the systems that were created were created to live off your back. Okay, let's get something perfectly clear. Create enough inflammation, you'll create enough scar tissue, but to create inflammation means you're creating pain. Am I right or wrong? If you create pain, and you teach people that pain is an enemy, then they're gonna to try to make it shut up and shut it down, aren't they? When's the last time that you had a relationship with someone and you made them shut up and shut down? That's called divorce. In your body, it's called disease and it's called death. It's called dying. And you know what? What do our systems like to use? The word disease, death, dying, right? Let's start. So the reality is, is this, if we can create enough scar tissue, okay, did you ever notice something? What did you always say? Look at this, guys. Okay, this could be a muscle, this could be a tendon, this could be a ligament, right? And it's this long. How many people here understand that a tumor is a knot of scar tissue, mainly? It's not all mutated cells. Is it or isn't it? You know what, I talked last year down in Mexico to a bunch of doctors that ran cancer clinics, and when I said this, that a tumor is mainly scar tissue, not mutated cells, they went, never thought of that. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? And I said, just like you can, okay, so what is a tumor is it is compressed scar tissue. Has anybody here ever eaten beef jerky? That's a tumor. That's arthritis. That's a lesion. That's scar tissue, whether it's internal or external. Guys, please get this. Oh, so you know what? So you go and you take a biopsy and you go, well, you know, the piece that we did take has this many cancer cells. Does that mean that the whole thing has that many cancer cells? No. 
You're rolling the dice, baby. This whole thing is nutsy cuckoo. Totally. So anyways, so guess what? So when you get cancer, we gotta make you freak out because we don't want you to think long enough so we can take a knife to you. Let me tell you something. When you allow somebody to take a knife to you, every one of your 50 trillion cells, they are the conscious part of you. They're freaking out. When you go in and cut into someone, they're freaking out. And when they freak out, guess what? That's where all the scar tissue comes. That's why surgery creates more scar tissue than anything else. That's why when somebody, oh my gosh, the cancer came back, where'd it come back? Oh, it came right back beside the scar tissue because the scar tissue was a physical block. I already told you, you start off with a mental block that then becomes a physical block, but first it was an energy block. You know, sometimes I have to shake my head in such a nutsy cuckoo world. And you know, nobody ever calms down enough to actually think logically. And what they do is they terrorize, terrorize the living crap out of you. You're so anxious, you can't even think straight. I can say to someone, do you know that a tumor is mainly just scar tissue? And did you know that doctors call fibroids tumors just to scare the shit out of you? Because just because they call it a tumor doesn't mean that it's cancerous. But right away they call it a tumor because they want you jumping right out of your skin and right in. There's the terrorism. And then people say to me, Dr. Wolf, aren't you scared they're coming after you? Well, oh God, then what kind of world do we live in? What kind of world do we live in that we can't even talk? Now we can't even talk and everybody's crapping their drawers out here. So no wonder we're in trouble. Keep crapping your drawers. And there's cancer. You know what the true cancer is? The cancer is, is everybody living in fear. That is the only cancer. So understand something. Remember what I said? So did you ever say, look at I have a knot in my neck. I have a knot in my back. What do you think arthritis is? It's a knot of scar tissue and calcium. So what happens? So when you get a knot, here we go. Ready? So this is gonna be really hard. I hope somebody can figure this out. Here comes the sarcasm. Is the rope longer or shorter? It's shorter. So when you get a knot, that means that you don't have full extension in your, in your arm, in your leg. That means that you can't walk. You're walking stiff now. So what happens if I untie it and get rid of the knot? I'm back to what? So guess what? I'm getting older, but I'm not old. Can you say that? Can you say that? Can you say that? I'm getting older, but I'm not getting old. I, but I'm not getting old. I'm as young as I was when I was a child, because I don't have a scar tissue issue, and I definitely do not have a problem with this guy. Can you say that? Well, I know you can, Howie. I don't even know how you got into the room. <laughs> okay, so, understand something. So guess what? You're tying yourself all up in knots. Oh my God, I feel like my stomach's in knots. Well, that's what you're doing. You're creating adhesions in your abdomen. He's attempting to reach you on your cellular device. Okay. He's attempting to reach you on your cellular device. This better be important. If you try to take a message. Donald Trump, yeah, okay. All right, so anyways, okay, so here's the tissue, okay? All right, we get full of knots because we're naughty. We're naughty in a way that we don't think good enough about ourselves. We can't even get out of here. Okay, so let's keep going here. So here's the deal. When you, okay, so understand, everybody has a weak link, right? So when you get tired, you get stressed out, your hip hurts, or your neck hurts, or something hurts, that's your weak link. Now understand something. Are you ready for this? The weak link is gonna get you the cane, the walker, the wheelchair, and the nursing home. So you should be in there strengthening your weak links and getting rid of them. 
Now your weak links are issues in your tissues and all you gotta do is get rid of the scar tissue and bring up the vibratory level of the tissue. Am I right or wrong? Is that rocket science? Okay, all right. You can't have whole body healing unless you have whole, whole, you gotta have whole body healing just to heal a tumor. If you focus on just the tumor, you'll never have whole body healing. And understand something, somebody that has a tumor hasn't got one block. How many do they have? Do you know? I don't, because I work on people doing non-surgical, getting rid of tumors. And I know that if we've got to go get rid of a tumor for them, we've got to get rid of 10 to 20 other blocks throughout the body. That's right. They've got 10 to 20 other blocks throughout their body. So every time, that, now picture this, every physical block inside you is like a beaver dam. If I put a ton of beaver dams along the river, how's the river flow? And that, all the junk that comes down is gonna get caught and that beaver dam is gonna get gumped up until the water flows slower and slower. And if you don't have flow in a river, it becomes a swamp. When you get a swamp, you get bugs, bacteria, viruses, worms. It's a parasite party. So first we get flow. So if we can get the person to emotionally love themselves and then go in and get rid of the physical blocks, I win. So this is why we took this 25 years ago and we started treating and training families. So we have trained over 10,000 families on how to do what I do. If you're a practitioner and you don't teach people learn to do what you do, then you're a terrorist. If you've got something that they can't afford or they can't figure out how to do it, then you're a fraud. I am not. Let me tell you, unless we're empowering the general public to get back their life, we're stealing their life. Now, if you've got something that you can't give them, that's fine, you treat them, but then you train them before they leave you. What are you leaving them with? What are you empowering them with? Let me tell you something. People come to us not to come to us again. People come to us not to go to anybody else again. God gave you a body, and guess what? Why do you think that medicine talks Greek? Arthritis, my God, it just means inflammation in the joint. Oh my God, I was diagnosed with arthritis. I got fibromyalgia. What does that mean? That means pain in a muscle, for God's sakes. Relax. Okay, I got colitis. What does that mean? Inflammation in your bowel because you've been constipated for 20 years. And that's because you won't emotionally let go. And pretty soon you're gonna have colon cancer. Oh my God, I've got polyps and they wanna cut them out. Oh my God, it's just a wart. Clean out the poop so that the environment comes up and the wart will go away. You know what? That's right. God made a faulty thing and you're all cursed and you're all gonna to go to hell too. <laughs> so you have to understand something. You're gonna to have to take back your power. And for God's sake, stop giving it away. That's the reality. Okay, here we go. I don't know how we got here, I must have sat on something. Where am I here? I don't even know if I'm in the right one. Oh no, we're way in that. I don't know what happened here. Oh. Okay, we are, okay. All right, let's start here. So we know that toxic thoughts equal toxic diet. When's the last time that you were pissed off, upset, and you made a salad? <laughs> Never. Okay, you went for a cigarette, alcohol, or ice cream or chips. Because when you allow yourself to get in a negative mood, you'll eat negative food. So if you allow yourself to listen to the BS that's on the news, which is all of it. You know what? It's your own fault. If you're gonna to listen to BS, it's your own fault. If you're gonna allow them to upset you, it's your fault. Well, I've gotta get my dose of negativity because the world is a scary place and I have to reinforce that every day. Okay, so toxic thoughts equal toxic diet. And then guess what? Because you have toxic thoughts, and a toxic diet, guess what people do? You will pick the therapy that is at the same vibration as the love you have for yourself. 
yes, that's okay. Please give me the toxic uh, uh, drugs that will get rid of the symptom, but they could kill me. And then take a knife to me because that's what I deserve. Now, if you're not a 911 emergency, why are you reacting and jumping into the worst therapy in the world? Why aren't you giving God a chance, your body a chance, healing a chance? Because you don't like yourself. You either love yourself or you hate yourself. There's no in between. Yeah, I don't hate myself. Yeah, well, I can tell that you're doing really good here. You know, the reality is, like I said earlier, if you're still running bad habits and you know they're bad habits, would you say you love yourself? Okay, discussion closed. Okay, now, so ineffective treatment we know causes inflammation because we know that drugs are toxic. Everybody knows that drugs are toxic, right? Okay, then why is it that the American population eats 50% of all the drugs made in the world? Wow. Yeah, you guys are the bravest, strongest, courageous nations in the world. You need to numb yourself out. That's how brave you are. You've been programmed. You've been programmed. Life and liberty, I think they're taking that away from you right now as we're sitting here. Okay, so now, inflammation. Well, we know that if you have inflammation, that the body makes fiber and sends it to the joint or sends it to the muscle, sends it to the tendon, or sends it to the organ. And that is the dis-ease, right? And then that turns into scar tissue because as long as the fiber goes there, the knot gets bigger. And the more scar tissue, the less flow. So if you don't have blood flow, lymph flow, or energy flow, and you cut it down by 35% the oxygen levels, you get cancer because the tissue cells want to live. They go, well, if you're not going to help us live, then we're going to live on sugar. And we're going to become cancerous because we can't die. Because if we die, you die. So we'd rather opt for cancer than kill you. Okay, so now, scar tissue formation. And, and when you have inflammation for an extended period of time, what is one of the worst cases that we've seen in, since we've been alive? Osteoporosis. We are losing bone calcium more than any other time in society. Okay, ready for this? You're gonna, not gonna like this. Kidney stones are a precancer state. Why would you be losing so much calcium if you weren't so acidic? You're trying to put the fire out and stop from getting cancer. Oh, wait a minute. Gallstones, what are they? A precancerous state. Oh, wait a minute. What are, what are calcium deposits in the breast or anywhere else? It's a precancer state. Now, did you know that all the calcium that you pull from your bones and you become osteoporosis, there's one product in the world called SAC Calcium. You can see it on my website. This is not a sales pitch. It will pull all the calcium back into your bones. There is nothing like it, nothing like it, that's ever, it is a totally ionic calcium that'll do it. If you go to my library or you go and you go to quickstart.com, you can read a 33 page article and you can also look at uh, the Truth About Calcium video and you're just gonna go, wow, really? Somebody invented that. Okay, so now, we gotta get the calcium back in, we gotta melt the crystallization, and we gotta pull the scar tissue apart. Did you ever eat beef jerky? Well, that's what you are. Any place that you have a disease, it's become beef jerky. All right? Okay? All right. Now, so understand this. Reasons why the body creates scar tissue. Well, you're in a sympathetic state all the time. Fight, fright, flight, right? Uh, to wall off because you've got leaky gut and you've been leaky gut and you've got waste coming into your body, right? It's gonna try to create scar tissue in your intestines. All right, next thing, pain and inflammation causes scar tissue. To stop the inflammation from spreading, stop destruction of healthy tissue, wall off parasitical attack. Because guess what? You ever see those African movies where the herd and then you see the old one limping in the back? What happens? They get eaten. Okay, do you know what's getting happen? You know what's happening to the North American population? They're getting eaten by the Pharmaceutical Association. They're getting eaten because you're weak. 
Because you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe your body can heal. You don't believe in Mother Nature anymore. You believe in a scientific breakthrough. All right. Wall off and slow down cancer. That's why we make scar tissue. Okay, to deaden the pain. Grandpa, you look stiff as a board. Are you in pain? No, he's numbed out. The calcium in the scar tissue is totally walled off his nervous system. Okay, you want to love this one? Tell me I'm wrong. So we'll get people, and they'll call us up and go, I have to go for back surgery. They say that the nerve is dead in my spine. And you know what I say? Guess what? Give me one hour and I'll have it come back to life. The scar tissue and the calcium wraps around the nerve so you can't see it. It didn't die. It didn't die. But every doctor's gonna tell you it's dead. And guess what they're gonna say? Once the nerve is dead, it never comes back alive. Well, unless it was cut, what? Who, who, who makes up this stuff? Who makes up this stuff? You know, you can say, wow, he's really got a big mouth, he's got a lot to say, but guess what? I can back it up. So that's reality, and, I'm, I don't, and people will say to me, you know, I wrote a book called Healthy to 100, and I had a naturopathic doctor come in, and naturopathic doctors have crossed the line, you do know that, right? They crossed the line, they've gone over to the medical side of all of them. Yeah. Okay, because we need approval. I don't need approval. So she says to me, this was two weeks ago, Dr. Wolf, I read your book, it's really interesting, but you know, you have nothing in the back about where you got all your information. I said, guess what? I learned this by myself, and I learned this from other people, and I don't need to put it in there. Well, yes, you do, to validate you. And I said, yeah, it's the same way that medical science and pharmaceuticals validate themselves to find out that it's a lie later. And let me tell you something, when it rains, you get wet. My book is totally logical, and my book is helping to empower people, and guess what? It's people like you that cause this problem. If I need a study to validate what I'm doing, I'm crippled already. So, you're trying to tell me that eating properly, loving yourself, and, and, and removing the scar tissue isn't real? You tell that to the tens of thousands of patients that come here that we offer a money back guarantee to. Tell them that I'm wrong. So I don't really care about, because you know what we usually find out? We find out months or years down the road that everything was a lie. Like you, everybody here actually believes you're free. You live in the land of the free. Are you like out of your mind? God. I don't even know what I'm doing in this country. I'm kidding. Okay, so <laughs> emotional blocks create snowball effect. Okay, so it starts off as scar tissue, then it goes to fibroids, and then it goes as a tumor, and then it becomes cancer. Now, isn't that great therapy? So we're in a, in a land of, we can put somebody on the moon, but we can't get rid of somebody's scar tissue issue. Right, okay. So here we go. The same fibrotic scar tissue found in sports injuries, post-surgery, or any scar tissue caused by physical or emotional imbalance is the same fibrotic scar tissue that you would find in a tumor. Wow. So, again, like I said before, medical doctors do not recognize scar tissue even, and guess who else does it? Natural practitioners don't recognize scar tissue until it's a fibroid or tumor. It's not just medical doctors. Right? We drank the Kool-Aid too. Okay, so, what do they say to you when you have cancer and they cut it out? We got it all. We cut the tumor out, but they didn't cut out the belief that caused it in the first place. So understand, there are no shortcuts. Surgery is the last option when you learn to fly. First, love yourself. When you learn to love yourself, you won't grab anything, you won't grow anything abnormal because you will become normal. So you think it's abnormal to be sick. Well, you must. 92% of the American population has an autoimmune disease, so majority rules, am I right or wrong? My God, you can walk around as a man and look like you're 12 months pregnant. I don't know how you do that, but you do. 
And guess what? Nobody's going to say a word. You could actually put things on there and make it a shelf. And you know what? Nobody's going to say anything. Nobody's going to say a word. We can see people growing tumors out of their body. We can see people limping. We can see people suffering in pain. And we do nothing. Because why? Because the medical system and those that actually tell us that they are the healthcare system say, we don't know what to do. Inflammation. Okay, inflammation is the cloak of in in invisibility. What I'm saying is, until you get rid of inflammation, you can't get rid of cancer. So what would be the first thing that you would do if you had cancer or you had an autoimmune disease or you had arthritis or colitis or anything else or any other type of illness? What's the first thing you do? You reduce the inflammation out of your body, which means you've got to get rid of emotional contamination. So that means you're probably going to have to get rid of some family members. I'm not kidding. This was not a joke. You're going to have to get rid of some friends. You're going to have to get rid of habits. Now, did you know that your habits define you? What do you do in your spare time defines you? So if you're not gonna change your habits, and you're not gonna change your friends, and you're not gonna change your family, and you're not gonna change your mind, then you're a landmine. You're gonna blow up. That's it. So inflammation equals scar tissue formation, crystallization, calcification, and eventually it has to become the cellular mutation. The C in cancer stands for what? We talked about it already. So remove the C and you're left with A-N-S-E-R. Okay? I didn't spell it right. But you're left with the answer, okay? All right, so time bomb to a tumor. Things will not change until you change. That doesn't mean changing to another doctor because you need to become your own practitioner. We already know that. Okay, first of all, Oh, don't worry about a thing. We'll keep an eye on that for you. What are they going to do? Live in your bed? Under your toilet? Where are they going to live? In the cupboard? You ever have that said to you? We'll keep an eye on that for you. What they're saying is, we won't cut it out until it's big enough. That's all he said. We won't come and cut it out until it's big enough. We'll watch it, and when it gets big enough, then we'll cut it out. That's how they keep an eye on it for you. I mean, aren't you listening to what they tell you? Aren't they listening to what they say? I know they mean well, okay? But so does the terrorist with a bomb on his back. He means well too. So it's bad beliefs that cause bad problems. So here we go. We pooped today. So understand, that's the first and foremost thing to get going on a physical part, uh, physical part is to make sure that your bowels are moving because your colon is, okay? It's the, it's the mother organ, and it stores. So if you go and look in my uh, 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 perfect day guide, you'll see this chart. Give this to your patients, or do it yourself, and find out where you stand, okay? All right? Find out what you're holding on to, all right? Okay, so remember what I said? When you're backed up, your back acts up, you'll become inflamed. So it's gentle cleansing, we've already done this. Okay, so what we do is we do what's called is wolf non-surgical. Surgery is the last option when you're awake. Now, if you need surgery, you should be in a life-threatening situation, or you shouldn't be doing surgery, should you? I'm asking you a question, just please tell me, am I wrong? Should we leave surgery until it's a life-threatening situation, and is a life-threatening situation where you just freak out, or when the doctor says, we need to do this stat. Is that what that is? Are you gonna let somebody do that, or are you gonna go get a second or third opinion? So are you gonna tell me that another day or two is gonna matter? Let me ask you a question. Any time that you have panicked and freaked out, did it work good, did it work out for you in your relationships, whether it be health, whether it be emotional, whether it be with your wife, or your husband, or your children, the last time you freaked out, were you left to clean up a mess? Okay, web of destruction. 
scarred for life. So, we're talking about adhesions in the abdomen, we're talking about scar tissue in the joints, in the organs, in the muscles, in your lungs, in your eyes. What do you think cataracts are from? Too much blue light. Your brain is getting burnt out from inflammation, so it causes the cataracts. So that's the crystallization. And then you get scar tissue formation even in your eyes. Okay, so take action or have a reaction. Now, whether you want to believe this or not, you will always have a problem in you, okay, except for root canals with women, but most of the time you'll always have a problem in your pelvis and your ovaries and uterus are on fire before your breasts are on fire. And I proved, I proved it for the last 25 years. So when we work with somebody with a breast problem, we always go to the pelvis first. Bring down the toxic load, remove the scar tissue crystallization from the pelvis because guess what? That's the root chakra. That's where the energy starts. Understand something. Your, your coccyx, which is the bottom part of your spine, it picks up the energy. And then that energy is called spinal fluid. It goes up to your brain, back down. Up. Why do you think it goes back down? It's picking up the energy, the core source. Okay? In, east, in the East, they call it kundalini. Right? Which we were taught that Kundalini was an evil spirit, like 40 years ago. It's true. Kundalini, oh my God. But it's actually, all it's talking about is your chi, your energy flow. Scientists call it your energy grid. How strong is your energy grid? And remember, your spinal fluid carries more light and information than anything else. So just think, the more inflammation you have in your pelvis, you're shutting that down. The more inflammation and scar tissue in your spine, you're slowing the flow, am I right or wrong? The more you feel tense up in your neck, or even a whiplash, you're slowing your flow. Wow, I can show you so many tricks to increase all this, but not, it's all on my, no, I can't. It's all on my YouTube, and guess what? We have what's called uh, uh, Do It Yourself on YouTube, and I'm gonna tell you something, in six months, there'll be 50 videos there. I am gonna give everything away. There's no time left anymore. There's no more holding back, okay? Uh, you'll also wanna watch when I advertise on Facebook and when I mention it in my Q&As, patting and clapping. With patting and clapping, you can get rid of a, a fiber. You can get rid of arthritis. We're, uh, we're gonna give so much empowering stuff away. This stuff was all burnt and buried. Patting and clapping goes back 10,000 years. Go figure. Okay, so anyways, pelvis is the cause, the reaction is your breasts. We've talked about this already, you see? You see how you've got uterus, bladder, pubic bone, urethra, vagina, and it's all caused because rectum, it almost killed it. Because you've jammed up your bowel. Look at how could you ever get inflamed in your pelvis if you weren't absorbing your own waste? Okay, again, we saw that earlier, normal and impacted. We talked about that already. The domino effect, irritation, inflammation, crystallization, scar tissue formation, calcification, mutation. And then from mutation, where do we go? Radiation. And after that, where do we go? Amputation. Amputation. Welcome to Inflammation Nation. And it all started there. Okay, so for healing to become permanent, it must take place first in the mind. All right, it's either, if it, it's gonna be healthcare or self-care, you guys need to pick it, because the other one's not working. Okay, so, like I said, you either continually go for treatments or you get trained. So how are you going to get trained to look after that beautiful mind and that beautiful body of yours? Anyways, these are the courses like I already talked about earlier. I'll just fly through this. Uh, we've got courses coming up in Kelowna in July. It's almost full. And then in September, we're in Orlando. And then in November, we're in California. And it's a 21-day course if you took my whole life coach and you took my non-surgical, but you can just take one or the other if you want, okay? 
And I already talked to you about my two shows, the Q&As and the Dog and Beat Dog show. And that's my book, all right? So the average life expectancy of somebody is 74 years if you follow the herd. So unleash the unseen healer from within. So until you decide that it's up to you, you're gonna be schooled, ruled, and fooled. So you got to become outstanding, you better stand out. Now how are you gonna stand out? Well that means you're gonna stand out to the point that you're gonna get mocked by your family. Oh my God, what are you a health nut? Well, what are you doing? You, oh, we're not, we're not good enough for you anymore? Our food isn't good enough for you? Our way of life isn't good enough for you anymore? So understand something. You will get mocked, and when you do, understand it's not their hearts and not their spirits, it's their conditioning of their subconscious, because the brain is 90% subconscious, only 10% conscious, which means they're not conscious. And did you know this? This is an actual statistic. The majority of the population is only present for two to five percent of their day. So please do not look for logical or for any type of, of sanity. Okay? I, that's why I love everybody anyway. And I have to, because if I don't, it, because people aren't gonna match my beliefs, right? And guess what? Did you ever go to a teller or a cashier and she was like grumpy? And then you went, oh my God, what a bitch. Let me tell you something. There you go. You went and judged her. You don't, you don't know that she's got pelvic pain. You don't know she's got a tumor. You don't know that her husband walked out on her. You don't know anything. So when somebody gets pissed off or attacks me, I just, I look at them and I go, is there anything I can do for you? I love you anyway. I hope you have a beautiful day, understand. You deserve to have a beautiful day. Why can't we just give back beauty? You know, I want you to think about something. Did you ever notice that, who do you hate? East Indians? What about Africans? Who do you hate? Who does America hate today? Who does Canada hate today? Understand something. We are all from the same place. We are all created by God Almighty. We are all part of the same spiritual makeup. I refuse to hate anyone. I will love everyone. Their beliefs are messed up, but they are not. And you want to heal? Then you're going to have to learn to love everyone. You're going to have to learn that, <laughs> to like the person who stole from you, who lied about you. You're, and guess what? You don't have to like anybody's beliefs. That's not gonna hurt you. Hey, you know what? I said a lot today that people aren't gonna believe here. But you know what? It makes me empowered. It doesn't mean, it's not gonna make you empowered. Most people have never even thought about that they should think about their thoughts. So right now, it's like, oh my God, will he just shut the hell up? I will in a few minutes. So understand something. When you start squirming inside, okay, ask yourself why you're squirming. What am I trying to sell you right now? I'm trying to sell you on you. I'm trying to tell you, you don't need anybody else except when you need emergency care. And how often is that? But damn it, you're in emergency every day. Remember something, and you may not know this, but this is the God's truth. Six corporations own 95% of the media in the United States. All right? 1% of the population is in control of 97% of the dollars in the United States. Welcome to your world. Now, if your family was in control for hundreds of years, do you think maybe you might get a little bit of obsessive, possessive? 
Do you think that maybe you don't care anymore? Do you think that maybe you got numbed out and you forgot that these are real people? Protect yourself, respect yourself, and honor yourself. Okay, we're gonna take a little break, because I have to go to the bathroom. And then we're gonna come back here, and then I'm gonna do some deep tissue, all right? Thank you, Facebook. We'll be back in 10 minutes.